Short-term thinking speaks to what Americans must do to get our mojo back economically, to make America great again, first by making capitalism great again. This is Jim Sawyer for Zombinomics at capitalismandcrisis.org. Forget about high finance, computerized stock trading, casinos, high-profile luxury hotel deals, and the like. You know the sorts of business deals defining Donald Trump's career. Forget rigging and gaming schemes as false routes to making America better. These are short-term facades, not unlike the metaphor of rearranging deck chairs on the Titanic. Examples? During the presidential election, the American public learned about consumer banking fraud at Wells Fargo. As many as 2 million fake customer accounts were opened at management's behest. It's one more illustration of how many tech and financial elites game the American system, then take the money and run. Or how about pharmaceuticals? Patients needing life-sustaining drugs shouldn't get their blood drained metaphorically. Congress enacted the Medicaid drug rebate program to catch price gouging by manufacturers of single-source drugs. Recently, monopolist Mylan settled with the Justice Department for price gouging on behalf of Medicaid recipients that unresolved would have siphoned almost half a billion dollars out of the pockets of American taxpayers. A decade ago, new entrant Mylan acquired EpiPen patent rights. Then it jacked up price fivefold through 17 price increases. Now a single emergency injection costs over $250. But according to Utah Congressman Jason Chavitz, the juice inside costs Mylan just one buck. Only one buck. You're connected to Zombinomics. For more on why pseudo-capitalists are thriving in the U.S. economy and what can be done to stop them, to stop rigging, gaming, and defrauding schemes, check out capitalismandcrisis.org.